When most people hear about Madagascar, all that comes to their mind is the Hollywood animation Madagascar. But Madagascar isn't just a Disney film, it is a real island nation found in the Indian Ocean on the eastern part of the African continent. The country has a population of 29 million people and its capital is Antananarivo. In this video, we share the 10 interesting facts about Madagascar that you probably didn't know. Trust me, some of these will blow your mind. And if you're new here, on the channel we share great stories about the African continent. So for more future videos, be sure to like, subscribe and also share this video with someone that would like to learn about the African continent. Let's introduce to you iVisa, your all-in-one travel companion for visa applications and travel document processing. iVisa has been featured on BBC as one of the best companies in the travel industry. If you would like to travel and start your travel document application to any country, check out the link in the description at the end of this video for you to start your application. Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world. The country only comes after other islands like New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and Borneo. Madagascar is an African country found in the Indian Ocean and it measures 1600 kilometers on the longest axis and 570 kilometers on its widest point. Within the island, there is a distinctive terrain which includes volcanic mountains, rainforests, sandstone cliffs and much more. Definitely, this is one of those countries that you should visit on the African continent. Did you also know that more than 50% of the world's chameleon population is found in Madagascar? Well, this is a fact and these include both the largest, which is called the person's chameleon, and also the smallest, which is termed as the brocasia type of chameleon. It is very important to note that amongst the 150 chameleon species in the world, Madagascar happens to have most of these and 59 of these species are only found on this island nation. So this makes the country one of those very unique countries. Although Madagascar is predominantly a Christian nation, Many of its citizens believe in some higher powers that are provided by their ancestors. They believe that if they need any spiritual solutions in their country to solve many of the problems in their country, they need to search these solutions from their ancestors that lived before them. Madagascar is also home to the baobab tree, which is one of the oldest trees in the world, estimated to be around 2,500 years old. This is a very unique tree that looks as if it's upside down. This bottle-shaped tree seems to have its roots up in the air 
which makes it one of those very unique types of trees in the world. And in the country, it's considered one of those sacred trees by the local people. Hey, did you also know that 10% of the citizens of Madagascar smoke weed? Well, this basically translates to at least one person in every 10 people smoking weed. Quite a high number, right? It is said that much of this weed is consumed for both medical and recreational purposes in the country which ranks Madagascar with other weed smoking countries such as the USA, Jamaica, France and many more other countries. Bare knuckle fighting is a form of sport in the country that is very popular amongst the local people. This is locally called Moraingi and it's used as a form of entertainment for the visitors and also as a form of economic activity as the onlookers and the fighters themselves bet on who will win on a given fight. Madagascar is one of the few African countries that are very strong at upholding human rights on the African continent. People's rights are strongly protected under the constitution that governs the country, making Madagascar one of those best countries to live on the African continent. Rights such as one's right to ethnicity, rights for children, rights for religion, rights for sexuality, rights for assembly and many more other types of rights are well protected under the Madagascan constitution. Before the French colonized Madagascar, the country was under the rulership of a woman Queen Ranavalona III, who ruled the sovereign kingdom of Madagascar from 1883 to 1897. Although ever since the French colonized the country and later as the country got her independence, today Madagascans democratically elect their presidents. You also know that in Madagascar, both the women and men wear the same type of clothes. The Lamba type of cloth, which is a traditional cultural wear, is worn by both the men and women at different occasions and events in the country. The Lamba is a rectangular piece of cloth that is wrapped around the body and it can also come in different designs. During this current pandemic, Madagascar became the first African country to come out and claim to have found the medication that could help relieve the symptoms and signs of this current disease. What followed was this medicine was widely distributed in the country for mass usage by the citizens of Madagascar. For our Swahili lesson of the day, it is the word mvua. This translates as rain in the English language. And if we are to use this in a sentence, we would maybe say mvua inanyesha which basically translates as, it's raining. 
So maybe if you're telling a colleague or maybe a friend that it's raining in the Swahili language, you would say mvua inanyesha. That's our Swahili lesson. And if you would like to learn Swahili, one of the most spoken languages on the African continent, we created an easy to learn speak Swahili for beginners course that will basically take you from A to Z for you to start speaking like a native Swahili speaker. You can check out the link in the description for you to enroll for the course. Well, that was Madagascar and the 10 interesting facts about this beautiful African country. You can let us know down in the comments which among us these 10 facts stood out for you and maybe where you are watching from. Do not forget to also like, subscribe and also share this video with someone that would like to learn about the African continent. We recommend you to watch more here for you to even learn more about Africa. Thank you.